Well guys, we're continuing to see some very significant changes on the sun and we are now heading into our 11th day with no sunspots. Now this is the second time within a month that this has happened. On the 4th of June, we saw the same event where we had no sunspots for four days and then they slowly returned but now we have not seen any sunspots on the earth facing side of the disc for the last 11 days and this is something that has not been observed since 2011 and I have been doing these videos and observing the sun since at least that time and I have never seen the sun exhibiting this type of behavior. Now we're also seeing some articles that are going on to relate information regarding this latest activity. We have meteorologist Paul Dorian do an article that was published on the Climate Depot on the 25th of June and he goes on to say that the sun goes blank again during the weakest solar cycle in more than a century. Forbes has a very interesting article. They go on to say that the sun has likely entered a new evolutionary phase, say astronomers. So we can see that they are now observing behavior on our sun that they have never seen before. And this is because we are entering into a new climate cycle on our planet as we move towards the end of an age. Again, we have Paul Dorian featured in this article on news.com.au and he goes on to say that these are indicators that we are moving towards a little ice age. So when we actually look to the warnings that the ancients left us, we can see that this behavior on the sun is absolutely on cue. Now, we have the Norse prophecy of the Ragnarok go on to relate that there will be three brutal winters with no real seasons between them and the sun will weaken and then the great Fimble winter arrives. Part of the prophecy reads, Black becomes the sun's beams in the summers that follow weathers all treacherous. So we can see they were relating to us that after the three brutal winters, we could expect the sun to weaken and from that time on, we can also expect catastrophic weather events to continue and to increase. Now, let's not forget that in 2014, we saw the first polar vortex bring a very brutal winter to the Northern Hemisphere. And then subsequently, we saw this polar vortex return in 2015 and 2016. And so we have seen three brutal winters and Right on cue, we are now seeing the sun weaken and we have warnings that we are about to experience a colder climate around our planet due to this. Now, it wasn't only in the Norse prophecy of the Ragnarok that we see these warnings. This information was left to us by Johannes Friedi in his prophecy. Now, the full prophecy is available on my channel, I will link the video in the comments underneath and you can take a look at that. But he also goes on to say that only a few years and you will begin, you will become aware that the sunlight has become perceptively weaker. And this is after we have been experiencing temperature fluctuations and catastrophic events with the weather. And again, on cue, he goes on to relate that we will then become aware that the sunlight has become 
perceptibly weaker and this is because we are moving towards the end of the Iron Age and we are transitioning into a new age and due to this we can expect that these events will continue to es escalate and in fact they are going to get more severe. We're going to see more volcanic activity and more catastrophic earthquakes and they will just continue to increase until we experience a huge earth shift and this is when we will have no doubts about the significance mankind have when it relates to their behavior influencing what is happening with the climate around our planet. This is something that is much bigger than mankind. Now, sometimes I see comments from people who seem to think that nobody can be in possession of the truth and that nobody is able to find the truth. And so I just wanted to remind people before I finish this video that the sacred texts actually say differently. The sacred texts actually tell us that the truth can be, ta be found if we do seek it out. Now, this verse is from the Gospel of Buddha and it goes on to say the truth is not arbitrary or a matter of opinion but can be investigated and those who earnestly search for the truth will find it. The truth is hidden to the blind but he who has the mental eye sees the truth. Now when we see this information regarding the mental eye this is not talking about meditating and suddenly all of this truth and information will be just given to you on a silver platter. This is talking about investigating knowledge and information and then having the correct perception of yourself and reality. So you see through the matrix that they have created for us, this false reality, and you see the truth of who you are and what reality really is. That is when the veil will drop and you will actually begin to open the mental eye and everything will begin to make sense. And all of the fragments that have been separated and dispersed can be brought back together to give us the complete picture. This is what opening the mental eye is. Now even in Mark 4, 11, 12 we see he told them that the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you but to those on the outside everything is said in parables so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving, ever hearing but never understanding. Otherwise they might turn and be forgiven. And this is because basically at the end of the cycle in the Iron Age, mankind are being given enough rope to hang themselves. And so only those that are listening to their instincts and awakening because they are feeling something is not right and so they are going to investigate information and look into knowledge to have an understanding for the events that are occurring around our planet, they are worthy of knowledge and this is when the mental eye will open to those who have done the seeking, who have not taken shortcuts and just expected to read one book and all truths will be revealed to them or for those who believe that truth will not ever be revealed to them and that they somehow can just meditate to activate their third eye and then all truth will be just handed to them on a silver platter. This is not how it unfolds. You have to go and seek out the information for yourself and you have to begin to look at everything in a larger view so that you see everything rather than just having tunnel vision and keeping your mind enclosed in a little box that the establishment have wanted you to stay in. You're actually opening up your mind and 
moving to the top of the well and seeing the bigger picture. Just like the little frog only sees what's in his environment at the bottom of the well and he thinks that this is all there is and until he moves to the top of the well and comes out and looks around he then realizes that there's a bigger pi picture that he was never aware of and this is where your consciousness has to actually start moving into so that you can open the mental eye and you can start understanding what has been hidden from mankind and then you can start to realize that all of these events that we're now seeing are related and connected because science and spirit are fused. Religion and science are two sides of the same coin and this is what philosophy is when you bring both together and you have an understanding for both the science and the spirit and you can see the full picture. So I'll leave that here for now and I will put all of the articles underneath and you can check them out for yourself. And as always, peace out.